Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Nidalee buffs that are most likely coming to patch 6.15. So these buffs are definitely some pretty solid buffs to Nidalee. I think that they will make her a much stronger pick in this coming patch. Right now, I feel like she's in a decent spot. She's not like super weak, but she's not really strong either. So in this coming patch, if these changes do end up going through, I feel like we will see a lot more Nidalee and she will become a much stronger pick in this coming patch. So I did try her out on the PvE and I actually ended up getting a pentacle with her somehow. I have no clue how, but I just kind of threw my spear, they hit, I jumped in and I ended up with a pentakill. Um, I think that the enemy team, they had a lot of players that were on like Europe servers or they were playing in Europe, so their ping was really bad, which is probably why I was able to land my spears pretty easily. But nevertheless, guys, let's go over these Nidalee changes here. So the damage, uh, the minimum damage on her Q is being increased at the lower ranks and it's like evens out once you uh, get it in rank 5. So it's up to 70 at rank 1 from 60 and then once you get it at rank 5 it's going to be 130 which is what it was before. And the maximum damage, if you hit this like at a very long range, at the max range, then it is going to deal 210 damage now, and that is up from 180. And then it's 390 once you got it at rank 5, which was what it was before as well. She's also getting a change which is really only going to affect like the really good Nidalee players or the Nidalee mains because I really didn't even know this existed in Nidalee's kit, but when you change your forms, you no longer get the auto attack reset. So this is going to like affect those really good Nidalee players who would use this tactic to get a lot more damage off when they were trading, but it's going to be a lot more helpful now for those players that just really didn't know about this or they didn't use this on Nidalee. They're giving her other abilities more damage and they're taking this away so that's a really good trade-off and it's going to make Nidalee a little bit easier to play for sure. Now the cougar form on her Q is also getting changed. The damage is getting increased on that as well. At rank 1 the minimum damage is going um, for, it's at 5 now and it was 4 before and then at rank 5 it's actually getting decreased a little bit so they're making Nidalee's early game stronger here with the Q but they're making her like mid to late game a little bit weaker. And then the maximum damage on her Q is also getting increased at the lower ranks, uh, but it's getting decreased a little bit at the later ranks. So they're trying to put an emphasis here on like Nidalee's early game. That's kind of how the champion has always been like played or thought of. Nidalee's like an early game champion, so they're trying to make her early game even stronger now, which is kind of weird because she's already like pretty strong in the early game. But we'll see how these changes do end up going. I definitely think that she will be a much stronger pick in this coming patch. Now the AP ratio is also getting increased on her Cougar form Q. It's going to 40% from 36%. And, the, and then the damage versus hunted targets is also getting increased. Now this is going up to 40% from 33%. So this is actually a pretty big increase. And if you hit that spear on Nidalee and you pounce on your target, then the amount of damage you're going to get off now in the early game is going to be a lot more significant than it, what it is on live right now. And you probably will notice the damage increase. So overall, I do think that Nidalee will be a very strong pick in this coming patch. A lot of players are definitely going to pick her up again after these buffs. She did get like a few little nerfs in the past, which kind of put her out of meta a little bit. But I definitely think now that with her getting buffed this upcoming patch that we will see a lot more Nidalee. And she's definitely going to be a little bit easier to play now. So she's always been known as like one of those harder champions to play. But because they did take off her uh, auto attack reset thing with like her ultimate and her changing forms then she's gonna be a little bit more noob friendly now of course you do still need to land your Q to be like successful on the champion but putting the damage like into her Q now instead of like having it into like the auto attack reset is going to make her a much easier champion to play so with that being said guys I hope you did enjoy the video if you did then be sure to leave a like subscribe if you guys have not already so thanks for watching have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video